Boeing announced Friday that it's cutting 10% of its staff. 17,000 workers are losing their jobs in the coming months. The decision follows a crippling strike that's been going for four weeks, shutting down production of Boeing's 737 MAX and 767 jets. Delivery of the new 777X wide-body plane has been set back until 2026. 33,000 members of the International Association of Machinists walked out last month after rejecting Boeing's new contract terms. The union turned down the company's latest revised offer, saying it was a show of disrespect. The contract proposed a 30% pay increase over four years, annual bonuses plus a $6,000 ratification bonus, and increased company contributions to retirement plans. The strike has already cost the beleaguered plane manufacturer a billion dollars. This comes as Boeing is still in the crosswinds of reputational damage and financial consequences given its poor safety record going back over five years. When two separate fatal crashes of Boeing 737 MAX jets, one in Indonesia and one in Ethiopia just five months apart, killed 346 people. Boeing pleaded guilty in July to charges of defrauding the US government after withholding information about safety issues and agreed to pay $487 million in fines. But families of the crash victims say the company got off too lightly. On Friday, their lawyers argued for a settlement of nearly $25 billion. The presiding federal judge said he'll make a decision soon on further punishment Boeing may face. Adding to its financial woes, Boeing planes are under federal regulation scrutiny, having faced multiple safety standards breaches this year, including in January, when the door panel of an Alaska Airlines plane blew out mid-flight. Poppy and Putin, CGTN, Washington.